Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to yet another video. Now today is a bit of fun because I'm going to be predicting where I think each of the 32 teams at the World Cup would fit if they were in the English football system. From the Premier League, Championship League 1, League 2, all the way down to the National League, I'm going to say where I think their teams would fit based on how good their players are and how well they play as a team. Instead of getting upset and having a go at me down in the comments if you disagree, predict where you think they'd be down in the comments. Do make sure to like, do make sure to subscribe, and let's get into this tier list. So then let's get straight into this tier list starting with the teams in Group A at World Cup 2022 and we start with the host Qatar who we've seen lose to Ecuador and I think it'd be disrespectful to National League teams to put Qatar in a league above that. I think Qatar are not very good. The only reason they qualified is as the hosts. I don't think they've got too many household names I'm familiar with and like I say, basing it off the game we've seen so far, I'm going to say Qatar would be in the National League down the bottom end. I think plenty of teams in the National League would be able to beat Qatar. I'm sorry Qatar, but not very good. Next up at Ecuador. Now Ecuador we're more familiar with. A couple players from the European leagues and I did like Valencia's performance. I thought their whole team performance against Qatar was very good, very controlled and I think they've got a very good chance of getting through their group. As for where I think they'd be in the English football system, well it's a very tricky one because... <sighs> I think they've got one or two players that are championship quality, but do I actually look at that team and think they're better than everyone in League One? I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm going to say Ecuador would probably go in League One, in my opinion. Now, next up are Senegal. Now, Senegal's a really tricky one. This has got a push-pull factor on me because they've got Sadio Mane, who would absolutely tear up most of these divisions. We've seen him, you know, he's a Premier League player. Obviously, he's injured at the moment. They've got Mendy, they've got Koulibaly. Very good. I'm leaning towards putting them in the Premier League, but for every Premier League player they have got, they've got a player in that starting eleven who's probably championship quality. So... I'm going to say Senegal would probably be in the championship at the top end, though. Oh, Sadio Mane would have so much fun in the championship. But I think it'd be disrespectful to say they're better than everyone in the championship. I just don't think the whole squad is that good. Next up, Netherlands. Now, this is the first team I'm going to put in the Premier League. Plenty of quality, a good back line. Louis van Gaal has managed in the Premier League. They would obviously go in the Premier League. And to add to that, I also think they'd probably compete for the top four. I'm going to say Netherlands go straight up into the Premier League. Now, before we move on to Group B, it is worth me saying this video is being sponsored by One Football. The link is down in the description. Now, One Football is a fantastic app that you can download for free, and it's got so much to offer while the World Cup is on. They are covering every match with a match report at this World Cup. They've also got a live ticker going with all the key match information. They've got the lineups, head to head records, and some features that other apps do not offer. So, if you want to stay up to date while this World Cup is on, with all of the information and stats that you want, download One Football. The link is down in the description. A massive thank you to them for sponsoring us. Back to the tier list and it's Group B. We now have England and this is the easiest one for me. It has to be Premier League. Our team is made up of Premier League players except for Jude Bellingham. I think he's the only exception, obviously being Borussia Dortmund. England goes straight in the Premier League ahead of Netherlands for me. I think England would be in that top four. I don't think England would win the Premier League. I don't think we're as good as Manchester City. Uh, it'd be interesting to see England play Arsenal. Um, but I think England are obviously going to be Premier League. That's an easy one. Next up, Iran. And I think Iran... This is a tricky one. Iran were not good against England. Um, I don't know how they're going to get on in the rest of their group stage games. But... Oh, they've got one or two decent players. Taremi was obviously quite good. He's got a couple of goals already. I think I'm going to put Iran in League One behind Ecuador. Let me know if you agree. Next up, the United States of America. America, USA are going to go in the championship for me. Yes, they've got one or two players that are Premier League quality. They've got Pulisic, who's very good. They've got Josh Sargent, but he plays for Norwich in the championship. Yeah, championship, top end of the championship. I'll slide them there just behind Senegal. Next up, Wales. Oh, really tricky. I suppose they've drawn with the United States and... Would I put them in the championship? They have got one or two players that would probably try and drag them to the Premier League. But is Gareth Bale really Premier League class anymore? I think he is, but can he single-handedly carry them? I don't know. They have got Dan James. I am a massive fan of Brennan Johnson, Nico Williams. Good players. I'm going to put them in the top six of the championship. 
I'll put them ahead of Senegal. I think they'd either be at the top end of the championship or probably the bottom end of the Premier League, in my opinion. Next up, Argentina. Yes, we saw them lose to Saudi Arabia, but come on, they've got Lionel Messi. And how brilliant would it be to see him play in the Premier League? They've got loads of quality. They're going in the Premier League despite losing to Saudi Arabia. Uh, maybe not the best fluidity, maybe not the best team chemistry based on that last result, but I'll put them there just behind Netherlands. Next up, Saudi Arabia. Oh, this is tricky. Yes, they did do so well against Argentina, but what league do they go in? What league do they go in? They've got one or two decent players, and they seem to be one of the countries that are best fitted as a unit. They played re very well. They battled for the points, and I think they'd be able to battle for survival in the championship. I'm going to put them just behind the USA. Next up, Mexico. Oh, Mexico going to go in the championship. They've got one or two good players. Yes, I do like Ochoa, but I don't think they have enough to stay in the Premier League. So I'm going to slide them in next to the United States of America. Next up, Poland. Now, this is a really tricky one. Their team is fairly good. Yes, they've got Szczesny in goal and Lewandowski. I just, oh, I just think he'd have so much fun in the championship. Like, their team is, is fairly balanced. I think without Lewandowski, it probably does fit in the championship. But he'd get them so many goals in the championship that single-handedly, could he just drag them into the Premier League? I think so. Next up are France. France obviously go in the Premier League. I'm going to put them just ahead of England. Mm, yeah, just ahead of England there. Uh, Kylian Mbappe, Olivier Giroud. They've got so many goals in that team. And yeah, the whole squad's littered with quality. We all know they're one of the world's best. Will they win the World Cup again? Maybe they're definitely going in the Premier League. I'd like to see France play Man City. That'd be an interesting one. Next up, Australia. Well, do you know what? I thought they played fairly well against France. I think 4-1 was maybe a little bit harsh on them, but it does go to show maybe they haven't got the quality going forwards. Defensively, they were okay. I think they're probably a League One standard team. Um, probably just ahead of Iran, in my opinion. I do like Australia. I, I just don't think they've got enough for me to be in the Championship in England. Let me know if you agree down below. Denmark are next. Denmark go in the Premier League. So far, just the nil-nil draw to show from this World Cup. But they are very good, of course. And I think they are better than Poland. Maybe not got as many good players as Argentina, so I'll put them there. Schmeichel's played in the Premier League. Eriksen still plays in the Premier League. Very good. Next up, Tunisia. Oh, Tunisia. They did all right against Denmark. And I think, once again, they could maybe just battle and stay in the Championship, could they? Who've they got? They've got Hannibal Medjbri from Birmingham City. Oh, nah, do you know what? League One. I'm going to go to League One, Tunisia. That might be harsh. We have to see what they do for the rest of the World Cup, but they've been all right so far. Next up, Germany. Yes, they lost to Japan, but of course they're going in the Premier League. Musiala, Sane, Muller, Havertz, Nabry. Oh, too good. Um, but... Maybe they're not as good as they were five, six, seven, eight years ago. So I'll put them just behind Netherlands. Next up are Japan. Do you know what? You've got to give them so much credit for their win against Germany. Have they got enough players, um, you know, enough quality players to stay in the Premier League? I don't think so. So despite that amazing win against Germany, I'm going to put them in the Championship, probably at the top end. I think they're a very well-balanced team, but I'll put them just ahead of Wales there. Next up is Spain. Spain are obviously good. They swept Costa Rica aside. And um, yeah, I thought the problem for them going into this World Cup was going to be a lack of out-and-out -out goal scorers. But they've proved me wrong by scoring seven already. Um, in the Premier League, yeah, they've got plenty of quality players to be in the Premier League. So I'll put them ahead of Netherlands. Costa Rica next. Basing it on what we've seen in the World Cup so far, it was pretty awful against Spain. Yes, they've got Keylor Navas, but is a keeper enough for them to be in the championship? I don't think so. I think I'm going to put Costa Rica in league. Oh, do you know what? I think they... Mm, I'm going to be horrible. I'm going to say go in league two. I don't think they're actually that good. I did see them play in New Zealand to qualify for this World Cup, and they weren't very good at all. They're going in League 2. Next up, Belgium. Belgium go in the Premier League. They weren't convincing against Canada in their opening group game, but uh, I'm going to put them just there behind Spain. Plenty of quality. Kevin De Bruyne, yeah, they would definitely be fighting for the top four in the Premier League. Canada next. Uh, Canada probably go in the Championship. Alfonso Davies. They've got a couple of good players, haven't they, Canada? I just think they were a bit unlucky against Belgium, to be honest. So they, they seem to play well, but they just had a problem getting the ball in the back of the net. But they still have a good chance of getting through their group at this World Cup. I'll say Canada would probably go in the championship. 
I'll put them next to USA and Mexico. Next up are Morocco. Morocco, um, so far, they've got a good nil-nil against Croatia. I think I'm going to put them in League One. Uh, they've got Ziyech, Elias Chair. No, I, I think I'm going to put Morocco in the Championship. I'll put them just ahead of Saudi Arabia. Morocco have good enough players for me to think they'd be in the Championship. Uh, Croatia next. They're going in the Premier League. Maybe once again, not as good as they were four or five years ago, but they've got Modric, who's a little engine running in that team. And yeah, plenty of good players. I'm going to put them just behind Denmark. Next up are Brazil, and Brazil have got so much quality. Neymar, Gabriel Jesus, Vinicius. They're going to go in the Premier League. It'll be interesting to see how well they do perform in this World Cup. I'm going to put them... I'm going to put them just ahead of Spain. Hmm, I'll put them ahead of England as well. Serbia next. Now, this is an interesting one. The question is, are Serbia as good as Fulham? Because Serbia have Mitrovic, and we all know he'd be a cheat code in the championship. He'd probably get them into the Premier League, but then could they stay there? Are they as good as Fulham, or are they better? they got Milinkovic-Savic as well. I think they're not a bad unit. I'll put Serbia in the Premier League. I'll put them ahead of Poland. Next up is Switzerland. I think they're going in the Premier League as well. Uh, good enough quality to be probably about 15th, 14th in the Premier League. I do like Granit Xhaka. Yeah, they've got good players there. Jan Sommer's a good goalkeeper. I'll say Switzerland also in the Premier League. Probably just ahead of Serbia. Cameroon next. Cameroon unlucky to lose 1-0 to Switzerland maybe. They're not a bad team, not a bad unit. Uh, probably not good enough to be in the Premier League. But I think they'd be all right in the Championship. So I'll put them... I'll put them there, just ahead of Saudi Arabia. Next up, Uruguay. Now, Uruguay, I think we all know, would be in the Premier League based on that front line. They've got Suarez, you've got Nunez, Cavani. Uh, they have got a decent team, but I think that front line is what would carry them. I think it'd be top half Premier League, so I'm going to put them just next to Argentina there. South Korea next. South Korea have obviously got Son and Hwang Hee Chan. They'd both do so well in the Championship, but... I don't know if that whole team's going to be good enough to stay in the Premier League. So, like Japan, I'm going to put them in the Championship, probably there. Ghana next. Ghana have a very tricky group at the World Cup with Portugal, South Korea and Uruguay. But, uh, do you know what? They, they were good at the last couple of World Cup tournaments. 2014 and 2010, I think they were quite good, especially 2010. Um, but as for this time round, I'm not too sure if they've got enough quality to be in the championship. I think Ghana would probably go in League One. I'm going to put them there. Uh, last up is Portugal. Portugal obviously belong in the Premier League because they've got Diaz, Cancelo and Fernandes. They're all Premier League players. They've obviously got Cristiano Ronaldo, who's no longer a Premier League player after having his contract terminated. I'm going to put Portugal next to Uruguay there. So then guys, that wraps up my predictions for where I think each team at the World Cup would fit into the English football system. Let me know if you agree down below. Do make sure to drop a comment, do like and subscribe and I'll see you later today for predictions for round two of the World Cup group stages. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.